Want a quick project to make in less than half a day? Here's my top five projects I made in less than two hours, from scrap wood to pallet wood and construction lumber. The full build video for all those are on my channel, but for now, let's get to number five. This set of tables are made from scrap 2x3 and 2x4s. I plane them down to an even thickness and then rip my pieces on the table saw, removing the rounded edge making thinner parts for legs and side skirts. They're assembled with pocket holes in a way that none are visible from the outside, helping me get a nicer polished table that I can sell for more on the marketplace. I make them in a wide range of colors and they're super popular in spring and early summer. Here's a few more examples of similar tables that I've made that took me about the same time to make. Don't be afraid to experiment with designs, colors, sizes, and other variables when making tables to sell. My next build is made entirely out of pallet wood, with no finish or paint, because pallet wood is heat treated and ready for the outdoors. I make sure no metal is left and plane them all to make that nice grain shine through and get them all to an even thickness. I cut down my pieces on the miter saw, and everything is assembled with wood, glue, and brand nails. When I have nice pallets with a lot of the same type of wood, I like making a few of those to put on the marketplace. They sell fast and take no time to make. By painting some parts black, you can often charge a lot more. People love the contrasting look it gives them. Experiment with different designs and finishes. It's endless possibilities with planners. Planners don't need to all be this plain box type that we're all used to seeing. I've made this planner aimed at people growing herbs or smaller plants that I sold on the marketplace with a plastic bin ready to go and made almost twice as much as the plain one earlier for a dollar store plastic bin and a planner that was simpler to make. This little wooden tray is more advanced to make but doesn't take a lot of time except to let the glue dry if using multiple pieces of wood like I am but you can jump right into action by using one single piece of wood. I use 3D printed templates, but they can be ordered online and are usually made of plexiglass. Look for router bowl or tray templates. I use a drill to remove most of the material before using a router and a bowl bit to get the rest of it out and shaped into a bowl. I cut it out with my miter saw and sanded it with my spindle and belt sanders. I finished it with the hard wax oil. I now use it to put my loose screws while I work. When making trays or bowls, if you plan to use them for food, make sure whatever finish you use is safe and avoid using pallet wood or other sources of wood that could be contaminated with spills or any wood that you don't know its origin. Food safety is important and should be planned ahead when making wood products for the kitchen. Next are side tables, which I often make from pallet wood. They can be painted black or any other color and can be sanded or routed to shape the corners and edges how you want. They're very simple to make and a great project to introduce yourself or new people to basic wood recycling and woodworking. I put it all together with 2x2 two two supports that act as a frame, brand nails and wood glue. I like to keep a few of those in this state and only paint them and route their edges when I get someone asking for one on the marketplace so that I can keep those up for both white and black ones without actually having to in stock as they're quick to bake but big to store in my garage workshop. If you don't have access to pallet wood or fence pickets, you can always resaw 2x4s into 1x4s, which is what I've used before on tops of benches, tools and tables. I don't always remake the same product the same ways. I tend to go with whatever I gathered for free around my city. Finally, my favorite quick build is this table, which I mostly sell to people as a plant stand. I can easily batch a ton of these at once and add stock in the colors that are selling so that I can keep the marketplace posts up. I can easily put up eight of those and sell out in a weekend while making them all in an afternoon, minus the finishing, which can take a few hours more. It's my favorite quick project to make and sell for a profit. I make them from 2x6s, 
that I turn into 2x2s and pallet wood or fence pickets for the top seat pieces. Here's a few more similar types of tables that I also marketed mainly as plant holders that I've sold successfully in the past and that I've made in the same time in two hours or less. This one is actually the first product I sold on the marketplace when I started woodworking. I've sold at least 30 to 40 of them before making other products. These ones are what I started making when I started recycling wood that I gathered around my city. Those 4x4s were free. The, everything you see in this photo was done with free wood. Here's a few more examples of tables that I've sold on the marketplace aimed at people that wanted plant holders. I hope this video gave you ideas on what to make while short on time or just wanting to make a quick project. Thanks for watching. Enjoy my other videos linked above if you want more builds like this. Subscribe if you haven't already and see you next time.